How you doing, boo? You all right? You sure? It's okay for you to not be all right. I just don't know if he's gonna be like surgery or is he gonna say like, let's try this something else, you know what I mean? But I also want this just to be over with. You know, what if he feels like it can just take longer? That's what I keep Taking telling myself. That we're, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Right. I'm not sick. Yes. I'm not in any pain. The morale is the most important piece. Mm -hmm. It's the people who give up who have things not go their way, you know? Yeah. Hi guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you guys along for one of my follow-up appointments. A lot has changed since I had last talked to you guys about my boobs and a lot has changed since my surgery so i want to bring you guys along for my follow-up appointment as you guys can tell by the title i may be getting a revision surgery because my right one is just not dropping as fast as my left one did my left one is like perfect the right one is just taking a little bit longer so to catch you guys up i went into my six month appointment in october and my doctor had noticed that my right one wasn't dropping and it was very hard at the top and i had noticed that it lifted a little bit but i didn't think anything of it i I guess I forgot how symmetric they had looked before, but I just thought, you know, that's the healing process. It's my right side, I'm right-handed, you know. It's just not dropping as fast as my left one is. But my doctor had showed me pictures from my six-week appointment and they were completely symmetrical, like my right one was dropping perfectly. I also forgot to mention that you could only really see the unevenness in pictures. Like in person, you couldn't tell that they were uneven. And so we came up with like a game plan on how we could fix this. Um, so the first thing was I was put on antibiotics because my doctor was like, well, maybe it's an infection because I did get sick in August. And looking back at pictures, I can see that's when it started to rise a little bit. My doctor was like, maybe when you got sick, the infection spread to your boobs. And since you were on antibiotics when you were sick, it just didn't heal itself. So we decided to do antibiotics to try and see if that could help it. That didn't work. I got put on vitamin E as well because vitamin E is known to like soften the capsule that your breast implant is in. And I've still been taking vitamin E and I think the vitamin E is working, helps soften it. My boobs are a lot, or my right boob is a lot softer than it was when we first started this whole process, but it's still very raised. And so I went back on November 1st, I think, and we decided we were just gonna continue the vitamin E continue massaging and then I've also been wearing a band without flashing you guys it looks like this it goes across my boob like this and down so my left one is completely still like free but to push down the right side it's the band is just over the right side so I've been wearing my band for the past two months taking vitamin E um, doing floor compressions which is laying flat on the floor to kind of like flatten the capsule out I think all of that stuff is definitely working for making it softer but it's still very high so my last appointment he did say that if none of this if nothing else works we will do surgery and at first it was very scary like I'm not gonna lie I was like I don't want to go through another surgery I don't really want to like get put to sleep again and have to go through that recovery because although my recovery wasn't rough it's just why would I want to go through another surgery and go through another four weeks of uh, recovery but I've had time to like kind of what's the word I've had time to just come to terms with the whole situation and so I'm at the point where I'm just like let's just do the surgery get it over with I want to get back to my life because <laughs> I'm at the point where I'm like I don't even like the way I look in like low cut tops I don't like the way I look shirtless so yeah that's just where I'm at right now with just I'm okay with getting surgery it sucks but going into getting a boob job you kind of know that there could be things that go wrong or not necessarily go wrong because nothing is wrong with me but things don't go your way it just comes with it and it's the risk that I decided to take and it's I still don't regret it. I'm still very happy that I did it. It's just a little bump in the road. So yeah, you guys are all cut up now. Um, my appointment's at 11 o'clock. It's 1020. So we're going to head out and go to my appointment, see what he says and see what news we get. But I will update you guys when I come back in the car. Hello. Hi. Good. How are you? All right. Okay. Back in my car post my appointment. Something I forgot to mention earlier when I was talking to you guys is that my doctor thought I may have capsule contracture because of the way that my implant was like kind of lifting and it was kind of high. Um, so he was like, it can either be the infection or capsule contracture. And so the only way to fix capsule contracture is really surgery. That was another thing that he kind of thought was going on. But after my appointment today, he looked at it and said that it does look like it's getting better and whatever I'm doing at home is working. So that's really good news. And honestly, I kind of needed that good news. I got to to see like kind of pictures of how I am progressing and it does look like 
I'm getting a little bit better. It's more full at the bottom where it's not so like full at the top anymore because when I went in in October, it was really full at the top and nothing was on the bottom. But now there's a little bit more on the bottom and less on the top. I'm still very raised, but he thinks that with uh, this band, it should be better. So right now, oh shit, there's <laughs> someone right there. So right now the plan is to wait it out until my one year mark, which is in April. Keep doing everything I'm doing at home and see if it changes. He did say if I notice anything getting worse to come in sooner or if things just progress naturally and they get better, I don't have to come in or call at all until my year mark. Um, but he did say in the event that things do get worse, we can do a capsulotomy. And I apologize if I say these words wrong. I'm not a doctor, obviously, so I don't know if they're right or wrong. But he said um, we'll either do a capsulotomy, which is I get put under local anesthesia. And he goes through the same incision line and kind of removes some of the scar tissue to let it drop a little bit. Or option two is if, is if it gets worse, then we'll go in, remove the entire implant, and replace it with a brand new one. Thankfully, I do have a warranty, and so I would be covered for that. And I get up to $3,500 with my warranty. So I will pretty much be covered for majority of it. I'll probably just have to pay some type of like anesthesia fee because I think that's separate. But those are the two options if it doesn't get better. We're gonna hope that it does get better. Obviously, I don't want to get surgery, but like I said earlier, I'm at the point where I'm okay with getting surgery just to be able to go back to my normal life because I do love having boobs. But I'm happy though because honestly, wasn't expecting to get any good news today. I was kind of going in today expecting like getting to get a surgery date and come on here and tell you guys like, all right, here's my next surgery date. So it, it feels kind of good to know that like that's not the case right now and we still have have some time and it's not getting worse so that's good but we're gonna head home my camera's about to die so we'll catch up a little bit later when I'm at home back home now just got off of work I am just still so in shock on how different today went I really thought that I was gonna come back on here and have like news that I'm getting surgery and you know I have just been like super emotional about this so it just getting good news is just really, really nice. So good thing it's a Friday, good news Friday. I did, however, ask you guys to ask me some questions about my boob job journey, and I got a couple, so I want to answer them. First, I want to answer like the most common questions that I get a lot. One of the questions I get a lot is how many cc's did I get? So I got 275 cc in both breasts. I'm extremely happy with my size. And the other question that I get a lot is did I go over or under the muscle? I did under the muscle. So 275 cc, under the muscle. Another question that I get often is do I wish I went bigger or smaller? I definitely don't wish I went smaller i would never say i would have went smaller i've only seen one person of all the videos that i watched say that they wish they would have gone smaller but everybody else has said they want to go bigger me personally i'm happy with how i look knowing what i know now i definitely probably could have just gone to the 300s if you guys watched my last video when i got the surgery uh, my doctor said I could only go up to 300 cc. Knowing what I know now, I, I should have just went to the 300 because I was the highest I was going to be allowed to go anyways. But I got a little scared, which is very normal. Everything is going to look so crazy and so big to you because you literally have nothing. You're flat chested like I would. I think they say the difference in like 15 cc's is like the size of a dime or something like that. I'm probably wrong, so don't quote me. But it probably wouldn't have been that much of a difference if I did get the 300 cc versus the 275 cc like I got. I know it's kind of contradicting and it doesn't make sense, but I feel like I can calmly say, no, I don't wish I would have went bigger. But if I could go back and tell Trine in the past, just go bigger, just do the 300 because you can't go higher than that anyways. Getting into the questions that you guys asked. First question is, what items slash products help the most during healing? The things that helped me the most was the ice packs that I got. The one that I got, was able to like velcro across your chest with the ice pack there so i didn't have to hold the ice pack on me so it was perfect for if i wanted to walk around and still have that ice pack on me i was able to do that and the other thing that i will say helped me a lot was my neck pillow i had bought like this nice sitting up pillow that was supposed to help me sleep it ended up making sleeping 10 times worse like i was in so much pain sleeping upright like that so having that neck pillow was nice because when you're sleeping up your head kind of like dobbles to the side but with the neck pillow if my head did go to the side it would be on the plushy pillow second question is anything that i would do different i don't think so i think i would have done it sooner next question is what's your favorite part of this experience so far getting dressed and trying new clothes and shopping it is so much fun besides one of my boobs being higher than the other and making different tops kind of difficult right now I have so much fun going shopping. I have so much fun trying on clothes and just seeing like what my body looks like in the low cut shirts because before I had boobs 
it didn't matter. Like I was just flat chested. That low cut shirt didn't really do anything for me. But now I have cleavage and it just looks better. I fill out my shirts. I fill out my clothes just a lot better. I also just feel like my age now that I'm out when I'm like dressed, if that makes sense. I felt like a little girl most of the time. <laughs> not saying like if you don't have boobs, you're not a, a grown woman or anything, but my boobs just make me feel my age now, if that makes sense. On a scale to one to 10, how much do you like your new boobs? 10, 10 out of 10, 10 and 11 out of 10. I love them so much. Okay, these kind of this question kind of goes together. What are your highs and lows about the journey and how has the healing process been? Which I kind of talked about in the first half of this video with like healing, I, I'm okay. Like I, I feel like when a lot of people see these videos, they're like, oh, this something's bad gonna happen. She's gonna get sick, blah, blah, blah. My healing and my journey has been pretty good besides, despite the fact of me having one that's not dropping fast enough. But healing wise, like I'm, I'm healing perfectly. Like my scars look good. My left boob is dropping very well. They're both soft. Like it's healing the way it's supposed to be, just not in the way that I would have wanted it to go. Obviously with my right one being higher than the other, it's just a little frustrating, but I'm not in any pain. I'm healthy, I'm okay. So this is just a little hiccup in the healing journey but we'll be okay. Um, for a high of this journey, I would say just the confidence boost that I've had. Um, speaking of confidence, someone asked, how has your confidence changed since getting them? I feel like it's almost criminal to be as confident as I am with them now. Cause like I mentioned several times, I was confident before I had boobs. I loved the way that I looked, I loved my body. I just wanted a little bit more. So confidence is through the roof now. I'm very happy with how I look. Confidence is something that I struggled with my entire life growing up. So Having this feeling of confidence is just so nice and it's something that's new to me, so I'm just enjoying it. Another question is, are you experiencing any pain or is it all gone now and how has working out been? As far as working out, I did film a whole week of workouts, which I think will be up either before this or after this video, but working out has been probably a struggle as far as like upper body, I would say, because when you do certain exercises, your chest muscles do activate a little bit. It's been really, really interesting to learn how to not use my chest muscles at all. Now, my doctor did clear me to do any upper body. I can do whatever I want, but I would just feel comfortable not doing any chest workouts at all just to protect that pocket. I paid a lot of money for these, so I'm going to protect them in any way I can. So working out has been kind of a struggle because of that factor, but the only thing that I do differently now is I just go lighter in weight with upper body days. It is very humbling and very annoying because I know before I had the surgery, I had lifted a lot heavier, but I think that's just a part of the whole journey and it's kind of exciting getting stronger week by week and seeing like, okay, I can go up five more pounds than I was last week. So that's been like a struggle, but upper body has never been my favorite if I'm being honest. But now that I can't work out upper body as heavy as I would like to, it's kind of like I want to work out my upper body more, but it is what it is. It won't be like this forever. I know over time my upper body will get stronger. I have to also remember that it's only been eight months. I haven't had my boobs for like two years. It's literally only been eight months. So I'm just giving myself grace and time for my body to fully heal. But as far as lower body workouts, those are easy, simple. I, I feel like my lower body is growing a lot faster because I'm going harder on my lower body days because I can, so yeah. Okay, as far as pain, no pain at all. I will say, around the time of the month like ovulation my period my boobs hurt so bad and i don't know if it's just because there's like more skin to hurt or more nerves or what it is i don't i don't know why but they hurt 10 times more <laughs> during my cycle for whatever reason which sucks but the after that it just goes away and goes back to normal but it's so weird that i've noticed that like before i would get like slight boob pain but i literally had nothing so there was nothing to hurt but now there's stuff in there and so it just it hurts <laughs> next question is how do they feel and this person wrote tmi i know it's not tmi we're an open book here something i'm trying to work on is being more open but um they feel like boobs for the longest time i thought that they were just gonna feel like rock solid hard forever when i first got them done but they're very soft they move they're squishy they bounce all of that it's it's almost like they're real boobs. For me, they feel a part of my body now. I think after maybe four weeks or six weeks, they started to feel like my body to the point where I didn't even feel them anymore. Like in the beginning of your surgery, you feel like you have rocks on your chest, but as the weeks go by 
and everything starts to settle, you don't feel them anymore. And I often forget that I have boobs a lot because they just feel like they're a part of my body and they're just, they've been there this whole time. <laughs> that is all the questions that I got. Thank you for asking. I really appreciate it. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if I said this, but I go back in April to have another follow-up appointment to see if this one has dropped down a little bit more. So fingers crossed that it does but I will keep you guys updated on how everything goes. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. I will get back to you. And just remember before you comment anything, I don't have to share this with the world. I choose to because I felt so alone in this process and just with the recent events and what's been going on, I felt so alone because I haven't seen anyone talk about capsule contracture or you know, one not dropping as fast in any of their videos. So I've just felt extremely alone during this whole process. And if I am able to share my experience with somebody else and make them feel less alone, I would like to do that. Cause it just feels nice to know that you are not alone when something is going on. But just wanna throw that out there because I got a couple hate comments on my last video that I had to delete and block. So let's just be nice. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up Might have caught the June blues, yeah